Georgia, and we are cooking dinner tonight. All right, so we um, already marinated my pork chops way back in July when Bryce and Natalie were down here, and I have two pork chops that were left. So I defrosted these, so this is a really quick step. While you're making a whole bunch of pork chops out there, or whatever you're making, make a few extra, freeze them in the refrigerator, so that when you have like, oh my gosh, what am I going to make? Just pull it right out, and you can cook it right up, all right? So that's one tip of the day. All right, so we're going to turn on our, our stove, because I am... I'm going to get this done in 20 minutes, all right? We're going to heat up our, our uh, pan, and I'm actually using uh, the grill pan by Pampered Chef. It's going to cook up two large pork chops. Actually, one's really super large, and the other one's a pretty nice size. And then we're going to be making some noodles. I'm going to be making noodles in the pasta, the uh, microwave pasta cooker, and it's going to be done. I don't have to really heat up everything else on here. So this one here is a microwave pasta cooker. All right, it has no boil over, so we don't make a mess in our microwave. We're gonna add in, this is like one serving. I know my mom's not gonna eat a whole lot, and I am gonna have a little bit of the pasta, because it's not the best for me. But if you have somebody that likes a lot, like pasta every day, this is definitely the tool for them. It is a ceramic bowl, and you're gonna put, the, put some water in here. I have two cups of water here. And I'm gonna probably put a little bit more in here. And I'm gonna add some salt, all right, because salt is what flavors the uh, pasta. We're gonna just put that right in there, salt it up. Nice, 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 nice. You only get one chance to really flavor your pasta. And we're gonna put our no boil over, and then I'm gonna be putting it in the uh, koozie set, okay? This is part of the koozie set. This one here is a koozie. We're gonna put this in the microwave for at least eight minutes. Hey, Missy Mouse, how you doing? All right, I'm gonna put this in. All right, we're gonna cook it. Uh, cook. No, not clock. Uh, stop. Stop. All right, we're going to do uh. All right, I'm just doing six minutes. We're doing six minutes over there. I can't figure out how to do eight minutes on my microwave over there. So do six, and then we're at, we'll come back in and add some more time on there. Hello there. Hello, Monica. Hello, Mary. Long time to say. I know. You know what? It's just not happening, but we are here on HAPS, all right? And I'm sharing up to YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook. We're going over to uh, Gaylene's party, Amy's still party's open, and my VIP page and business page, all right? So if you don't get enough of me, go over to uh, over to Facebook, because that's where you'll see a lot more pictures over there. I went away this weekend up to see Bryce up at the UGA up in Athens, Georgia, and I had a fantastic uh, fraternity experience. I played the Pong game. I played the dice thing. Um, we walked all the way over to the game. We said, we, uh, I, he, he, he said he, it's getting hot in here. He even, uh, didn't see some of the stuff like the players walking onto the field. They had like a whole ceremony for that. It was a wonderful experience. Got to hear the band, got to see the cheerleaders, got to see a hundred thousand people in the stadium this week and a hundred thousand people. And he did have, there's about 50, um, uh, fraternity members in this fraternity and this is the first year that they actually have a house and uh, there's about 20 parents that actually showed up for the weekend which is their first annual parents weekend all right yeah it was a fun day to Lindsay it was so much fun and you'll see all the pictures over on my Facebook profile it's only on the profile I think I only put one picture in my VIP group uh, I keep all the personal stuff over the profile so does he live in yeah he lives in the house he lives in the house with his roommate and there's I want to say there's either eight or nine guys living in the house, all right? And uh, you'll see the pictures of it. I didn't take any indoor pictures, although if you scroll back, you see, I do have indoor pictures of Bryce's way back in August when we went up and dropped off the futon in the car. I saw some of the beer pot. <laughs> and I actually I actually got down. We got down to one in one uh, cup, so he didn't, like, win, like, hands down, like, really quick. He, I gave him a uh, run for his money. Now, I did not drink any beer, okay? Because I had to. I had to drive, all right? So, anyway, we've got our pan nice and hot here. I'm going to spray in some. This is avocado oil in my old spritzer because I got it out here. And we're going to spray some oil. And Pamper Chef has a great spritzer. Do not use pan on your pans because it really is the worst thing you can put on a pan. All right, so you see that? Like, not even one spray. It just did it beautifully on there. And that's like less than one teaspoon of spray that's on there. We're gonna heat that up just for a second. And we're gonna put in our, 
his face up. I know he. W- it really was. He was so excited to see me. And of course, he's all. He, my my kid is a, a little bit tearful when I'm leaving because he just really enjoys my company and I enjoy his too. All right, so we're gonna put our our um, meat right on here. And again, these were steaks that were marinated way back in July. I just put them in there. Remember, I made these made these uh, not the steaks, but they made these pork chops. But they had a little bit of uh, either soy or something. Uh, I forget, whatever Natalie is allergic to, it was in the um, the seasoning, and we had to save these. So we're going to put this right on the stove. And again, my pan's nice and hot, okay? I did turn it down. There we go. We're going to get rid of this. I don't need this part. And you can wash your hands because it's already in there. Make sure you wash your hands twice and sing happy birthday to yourself or to somebody. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, everybody born. I don't know what day or month it is. It's October. Happy birthday to you. And a big shout out to John Hotlington. We missed his birthday on Saturday. So happy birthday, John. All right. Wash my hands so I didn't touch that meat. And we're going to just cook that up. While that's cooking up and the pasta is cooking in the microwave, we're actually going to open up a can of peas. Yeah, I got a can of peas. I'm, I'm hungry for a can of peas. You can use frozen peas. But I'm using the, um, the smooth edge can opener to open this up. I have throw it in my uh, my entertaining bowl there. I actually use this for soup stews and also serving items. It's a pampered chef. It's a nice little clay uh, bowl. And it is made in the United States. All right. And we're going to pull this up. There we go. Off it goes. And put that on the side. And it always has all this liquid in it. I'm going to get the liquid out. I'm going to use this can screener and put it right on there. Dump it right into my sink. There we go. All right. Got my pan. Drain them off. Put them right in here. We're good to go. I'm going to put that out with the um, the garbage. This is just water in here. So I'm going to put this back in because I don't really need to clean it. Because it just had water. And that just had water. Look, I'm cleaning as I go. All right. Got our pork chops on here. It's on medium heat. We're going to get our tongs out because we need to flip them, flip them with that. Everything's pretty much ready to go. Now, I want to thank, thank you, Kai. I want to thank everybody who placed an order in the month of October. I know we're only on like the 19th of the month. We still have a whole rest of the month to go. And anyone that wants to place an order would be so much appreciated. It's, it's supporting my small business, uh, and I really appreciate it. Now, I did get um, to a certain level when you get to $1,000 in sales. Pepper Chef sends us consultants a small thank you gift, saying thank you for, for um, you know, selling a thousand bucks, right? And so it's in here, what I got. And I wanted to open up on camera, because if you want to become a consultant with Pepper Chef, it's as low as $41 in the month of October. And there are phenomenal uh, new consultant rewards, such as getting that Flex Plus. Yeah, you can get that Flex Plus for, for free when you submit twelve fifty in your first 30 days. Yep. And, again, there's four kits available. The cheapest one is $41. You can start your own business, get some money for Christmas. I'll help you do your first party, and then you're off and running, okay? So this is what we got. Now, oh, we got to get the congratulations out on here. Congratulations. You earned the Pampered Chef Pizza Apron through October Consultant Sales Office. Way to go. All right, and it says, wear your beautiful new apron during your parties. Whenever you go live, you talk about incredible pizza products. And i got to make this pizza. It's a... Um, a recipe, you know how we do the two ingredient uh, pizza dough with the fat free Greek yogurt and the self rising flour? You add a little salt in there and get this. Add in a yeast. Now you're going to have to let that, that dough rise, but it's supposed to be a lot more puffier dough than just the two ingredients. Hey there, Aiden. I know you love your, I saw you using your quick slice today for dinner. Uh, let's see, I love your relationship. Yeah, my, my relationship with Bryce, yeah. It's just mom and kid, but I mean, we're, we're very close because it was just Bryce and I, you know, and, you know, we went, you know, anyway, we went through a whole lot, so anyway, but anyway, this is the new apron that you can get when you submit $1,000 in October, all right, and again, if you are a past consultant, you say, hey, I want to put that stuff to use to maybe make a couple of dollars, you can get the $41 kit, the $41 kit includes, I think, the pizza peel, the pizza, I, I don't know, it comes, it comes with pizza stuff. I don't even know what it is, but anyway. Because, you know, sometimes I talk to myself blue in the face here, and I'm like, no one's listening. But there's always that one person who might be interested. Reach out to me. The link is in my profile. Here's my link. 
And if you're over on any other social media, just leave a message and I'll come back and look at it, okay? There you go. So this is our new apron. See, I didn't wear an apron because I knew I was opening this up. So this one here, it says, uh, came for the pizza, but stayed for the dough. Came for the pizza, but stayed, stayed for the dough. I do not have nothing green like this in my closet. As a matter of fact, my new job <laughs> tells us we can wear red, black, or green uh, t-shirts. And I'm like, I have no green t-shirts. I got all red. So we got three red shirts I can wear uh, on the job. All right. So we got that. And again, it's it's big. I'm a tiny person here. All right. And we got all that going there. It's cute. It's really cute. All right. So we got this cooking over here. My uh, pasta is almost done. I got to go look at it. I'm going to show you. It's pretty long, y'all. It's a long apron. All right. It does have the, ooh, has a small pocket and a big pocket. It's like, ooh, let a Lexus model. And you can see me modeling with Bryce. <laughs> This past weekend, we did a lot of selfies, and we actually had people take our pictures uh, several different times uh, during the weekend, which is really nice. Everybody loves to take pictures, especially over near the stadium. I was, we we're standing right on the bridge that overlooks the stadium, and there were so many people coming up, and I said, hey, let me take your picture, because we were there for two hours waiting for the game to start. I just wanted to stay there, and we saw the whole 190, I think it's 90,000, 92,000 people fill those stands. It was amazing. Amazing. Must be freezer night. Put, I know, I put it, put it in the freezer. Yeah, it's completely out of the freezer because, you know, you're like, Monday. You want to eat healthy on Monday. You know, save going out for the weekend. All right, let me look at that pasta. I got to go get that pasta out. All right. So, we have the pasta in the microwave, uh, microwave pasta cooker. And I put this down here. I'm going to take a look. I don't think it's done yet. Let me look. Switch it around. No, it's not done. I don't think it is. Let's see. Let's get one out. There's your pasta. You're doing curly pasta. It's almost done. Um, I think it's done. It's done. Six minutes. It's done. I'm going to let it sit in this water and uh, let's let it settle. Just keep it nice and hot. But my pasta, I'm glad I didn't put it in for eight minutes. It would have been overdone. All right, we're going to keep that in there. I'm going to piece the lid on it to keep it nice and hot. We're going to um, drain that off and put butter in it and olive oil on mine. Okay. So, hey there, Jay. Chops are Monday staple. Yummy for their tummy. And I already had these marinated in the freezer. We just pulled them out. Now I can put this in the microwave and we can microwave this in a little bit. Remember, it's all about ease of cooking. Like you just saw me, I'm doing this whole thing. Probably, um, I can't see what how much time. We've only been here 13 minutes. 13 minutes, I'm going to have dinner done in 20 minutes. 20 minutes, you can have your dinner done. So, all right, let me, uh, come on. oh, here they are. <laughs> uh, no, Bryce has a new job. No, I have a, I have a job. Um, uh, I couldn't do Pampered Chef full-time, so I had to take up a part-time job. All right. Uh, only because I'm trying to get people to have parties and nobody's nobody's saying yeah okay for doing stuff and I'm 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 falling further and further behind and it's not the best but hey I'm back to like square one. But we always build it up. I just got a new team member yesterday and congratulations to um Allie. Allie up in I think she's in Washington, but I think she moved to Ohio. I forgot what state she's in right now. She was in Georgia moved there. So anyway, Allie just joined my team. So that's really good. And I have another person joining my team probably this week. So that's a phenomenal breakthrough, right? You will build it back up, says Monica. Yep. Uh, there you go. Kai just placed his order. Thank you so much. New adventures. Yeah. I'm not sure it's going to work out, but hey, you know, we'll see, you know. So anyway, we're going to flip this down. Let me go. New adventures always on the way. Um, I just didn't feel like I had the support here. Uh, on the social media uh, that I need in my business and I'm venturing local not postal and so I have a fundraiser for my ladies group that's going on and uh, uh, going local oh look at this yeah look at that mm. now it is caramelized here because there is sugar in my um, uh, in my recipe okay we had brown sugar so it did caramelize just a little bit but that is just fine all 
All right, just fine. Now, if you want me to put a lid on here, and I'll cook it a lot quicker. Let me get my lid. All right, so this lid fits from the um, steamer pan to the grill pan, all right? And it's, it cuts down on the splatter, and it will cook it quicker because the heat will rise and cut, cut up, go back down. It'll keep the top nice and warm, and again, it's easy clean up. I mean, you really want... When you're cooking dinner, you want the easiest cleanup and the least amount of, of um, dishes, all right? So yummy, yeah, best for the coloring is right, okay? Congratulations, and I admire you can do attitude. I do. That is my candy attitude. Do what you must until it comes back and spades keeps out, out of the, spades keeps, keeps eyes out of the signs. They are there. Okay. All right. Thanks. <laughs> thanks, Jay. All right. The yummy coloring, says uh, Shannon Turner over, I think, uh, I forget what, what, where the blue is. Is that, it's not face, is it Facebook? All right. Have you ever thought about going? Yes, I have done a few things on TikTok. And I want to thank Aiden for actually getting my TikTok and putting his face next to it. And then he had my TikTok in his face. But he should have said, oh, you have to like be very animated. You know, it's like, wow. Yeah, I did uh, the, the closing cut. And I did three t TikToks. I need to do a couple little more. But I, I want to do like the, uh, sun goes down, dun, 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 See, I got it. And then you go like this and go, dun, dun, dun. you know what I'm talking about? That one there. I will do to that one or the one, Hey, that's Bill back there. <laughs> and you have the witches and stuff. I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, I see those things on TikTok. <laughs> it's the funniest thing, everyone. Oh, too cool. Let's see. Um, let's see. That's what's your TikTok. I'll follow you so I can get uh, yeah. Okay. So Donna, follow me also on YouTube because YouTube, I have a lot more uh, followers and actually I went back to, um, YouTube this past weekend cause I was showing the guys up at the fraternity house. I'm on YouTube and it's my, my name on there. But if you go into my link right here, which is link tree, uh, there we go. It's actually, there's a link in there for you. Uh, or, and on any of the platforms you'll see in the, in the title, it has the same link. You can go in there and that's the easiest way to, to get to any of my social media. Uh, so anyway, follow me on YouTube. All right. If you can just let that YouTube run. Cause we have to get like a thousand hours on there. Yeah. YouTube. I'm on YouTube. I mean, I couldn't believe how many YouTube, and my hair's falling down y'all. Um, I couldn't believe how many YouTube, uh, uh, videos I had. I mean, I have a lot of YouTube up there, everything that was on half. So if you're not a Haps person, you can find everything that I do on YouTube. There you go. And then just let it play. Let's let it run. You don't have to listen to it. Just like if you're, um, you know, I don't know. I'll just let it put in your pocket and let it play. Don't, you know. There we go. So let me wash my hands again. Uh, quick wash with soap. All right. There we go. Got that. And we got the, the chops doing up. And where did I put? Oh, I don't know where I put my, my thermometer. My thermometer went to the um, vendor fair. So I got to go get the thermometer. Okay, I'm thinking I'm going to have to do, this is like the crumb catcher, and I really don't want my crumbs going down here. I probably have to do another little tack right here, because I must be small up top, because this crumb catcher doesn't do it. So anyway, <laughs> all right, so let's see. thermometer, everybody needs a thermometer in their kitchen to make sure your meat is done to their certain doneness. All right, so pork, we need medium is at 145 or well done is 160. So anywhere between 145 and 160, you're good to go. Do not serve pork rare or even medium rare. It has to be done, all right? All right, so I'm going to turn this down even more. Let me get this thing off. There we go. And angle y'all down. I really think you should do good on TikTok. But the thing is, there's so many people scrolling on TikTok. It's not like they're buying anything. And you can't really sell on TikTok, so that's the thing. It's really cute, and I do like to take those TikToks and put them on other uh, platforms. I can put them over on the new table website platform with Pampered Chef. That's really cute. Or I can put them in my VIP group, too. Can you use that? No, you cannot use this as a candy thermometer. Candy thermometers go up way above, like, 200 to 300, 500 degrees. So it is not a candy thermometer. That is totally different. And we used to have one. We no longer have one. And I sold my, I sold one that I had. All right, I sold, like, I got, I had one from, like, a mystery box that I had was that I had. All right, let's put this in and check it out. Oh, we're, we are done. It is done. Turn this off, let it rest, and we're good to go. All right. 
Uh, let's see, I'll follow you, says Monica. Thank you, Monica. All right, so my chops are all done. Look how pretty they look. These are pretty looking, all right? And we're gonna get, let me put you over on the other side so we can do a reverse um, look right here, okay? Uh, maybe TikTok is the way to go now. Yes, they. It, it does say that TikTok is the way to go. It needs to be short. You do not get the interaction like here. It's just really quick demonstrations. I did, I think the quick slice, the pineapple slicer, and the closing cut. All right, those are those are three of the, the TikToks that I have over there. Uh, so it's not like we're cooking here dinner at home because it's only three minutes or less. You have like 30 seconds, 60 seconds, or three minutes on there, and that would be it. Uh, like, I'll check it out, TikTok Live, yeah. All right, so we got that. Uh, let me flip us over here and I'll show you what it looks like. There is our pork chops. They are beautifully done. They do need to rest. So I'm just going to rest them in the pan. The pan's off. And uh, look at that juice in there. Isn't that beautiful? They look so good, y'all. I did score these beforehand. They, I did before they're, when they were raw. I put in little sl slits on here so they wouldn't curl up. Like this one, I should have put more slits into it because it curled up. When you cut into your meat around the side of it, especially pork, uh, it, it prevents it from curling up like this. Okay, so when you slice it, you just, it'll lay flat in your pan. And then when you flip it over, it'll be nice and flat. Except we should have cut one more in here. I have one there and one there, but I should have done a bigger one right there. Okay, so uh, let me see. I'm going to get, uh, let's get our, our pasta. Right down here is our microwave uh, pasta cooker. So if you are a person that loves pasta or you have one kid that only eats pasta, this is definitely a must for you. It's also a must for any uh, kids that are in uh, college. You can actually microwave a whole box of macaroni and cheese in here. And this is a no boil over so it won't mess your um, microwave up. And I just put the uh, curly pasta in here and uh, I'm gonna drain it in the sink using the, the lid, all right. There we go. All right. All right. So I got that down. You can see I have it right here. Put them back in. There we go. We are we're losing some pasta. No big deal. All right. The one fell on yeah, one fell underneath there. It'll stay there. All right. So we're gonna put some more salt and pepper on here. Okay. And I'm gonna divide mine off. I'm gonna get a small bowl. And I'm going to put some in my bowl and I'm going to get butter for my mom and uh, uh, olive oil for me. All right. So we're going to give my mom a good amount. That's good for mom. All right. She likes pasta and she doesn't, if she doesn't want that, then she can give it to Cooper. All right. Let's get a lid. I don't think this is going to fit that one. I got a lid in here. I just got to figure out where it's at. Here we go. All right. Keep it nice and warm. I'm going to spray, I'm going to spray olive oil into my pasta right. and get that lid over here put mom's right there i need to get the butter out and then we'll be done all right just spray a little bit of olive oil in mine right. spray it again y'all that only needs a little bit more there we go so a little bit of olive oil that's all i need all right i'm not eating a whole lot of pasta because i am on my weight watcher diet and we're going to get some butter out for mom. All right. Let's get a little bit of, there we go. A good, good tad, a tad, not a pad, but a tad. All right. We're going to put that right in there. Let's mix it up. All right. There we go. Let's mix it up. I'm going to probably put this back in the microwave. No, it's hot enough. It's still melting really good. All right. So my mom likes butter on hers. What do you like on your noodles? My mom likes hers buttered. All right, let's see. Oops, somebody, I'm on the director team and everybody's sending each other messages. All right, just keep that right there. We are ready for dinner. I got my peas ready to go. Let me do two minutes on the peas. We got that done. It's resting nicely and we'll plate up our, our thing. We'll have um, pasta, our pork and peas. Isn't that simple and easy? And it's only 25 minutes. We got this dinner done really, really quick. Look at these split. So that is it for today. Let me put this over here. We're going to leave that as our last picture and uh, definitely follow me. My link is in my, in the post itself, or you can do here, just follow it because if you're a broadcaster, make sure you put a um, something in the comments so that we can follow you while you're broadcasting. A lot of broadcasters just forget to put a comment in there and it's really hard on HAPS 
to follow the broadcaster when they don't put a comment in there. All right. So this is it. We have pork. I have my, uh, hopefully this is staying there. We got our noodles right here. I'm going to put my noodles right there. Okay. Goes my that microwave that again. And then we have peas coming out from the microwave in one minute. All right. If you find value in my broadcast, please follow me. All right. Because this is, this is dinner done in like 20 minutes. How simple can you be here? All right. I don't think you can get a quicker dinner than this. Even in drive through if you had to drive somewhere, order it, pick it up and drive home. You're talking a little bit of time there. All right. I think my, my peas are all done. Let's see. Yep. Ha, ha, ha. All right. So we got our peas, pasta, and pork. P, 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 please. All right. So thanks for coming in and I'll see you all next time. I got to make some muffins um, maybe this evening or tomorrow morning. All right. So follow me and I'll be back. Thanks for coming in, everybody. Yeah. Great seeing you, Monica, and everybody else. All right. Make sure you're putting, if you're watching this to the end, put in hashtag replay. Thank you.